Hey Breakers. So options and EXs work a little bit differently in Breaker 4 than previous games, and I would just want to break down real quick how to help you better understand the new systems. So I suppose we should start at the obvious. What are EX skills? What are option skills? At least in the context of Breaker 4. Both EX and Options are powerful attack actions that parts can perform when equipped. And they will generally make up the bulk of your damage as you progress through stages in the game. Not every part will have an Option or EX, but those will do be denoted with those yellow icons for EXs and those blue icons for Options. Sometimes some parts having both. To utilize these skills, you'll have to assign them to your EX or Option palettes which will give you a list of available skills you can assign to various face button, co button combinations. In the case of EXs, it will be L1 plus a face button. In the case of options, it will be R1 plus a face button. If you see two sets of buttons for options, that's because you actually have two pages of palettes giving you eight total options for, well, options. Well, EXs can only be run four at a time. You can place duplicates, and sometimes that is more beneficial. As you enter battle skills assigned, you'll see the option palette in the bottom right, with up to four per page selectable, with a selectable left and right toggle for two different pages. And on the bottom left will be your EXs, with a dandy little numbered gauge sitting below them. That is your EX stock. Stock's essentially what you pay to cast your EX skills. It can be raised and filled different ways, and will deplete as per the number next to EX skill every time you use it. Different skills will have different bar costs. Now, I won't go over all the different types here, but generally, Jirobi's Big Fat Beams can also be held and channeled to feed more stock into them to do more damage and more duration. Also discover a few other unique ones like F91's back-mounted VSBRs that can be channeled the same way for additional hits and damage. Generally, there's no rhyme or reason to what becomes an EX and what becomes an option, but options are generally something that's easier to use. Options themselves run under a little different rule. There's no gauges to spend. Each option can be used freely whenever you feel like, and they will have their own individual cooldowns after their use before they can be used again. This varies from skill to skill, skill type to skill type, but generally unless they are linked together, like for example, Builder's Part Rocket Launchers, you won't share a cooldown between two separate options. This can lead to highly advantageous setups like two different melee option combo strings, one always coming off cooldown as you use the other, or weird niche cases like this Spider-Man clip where I'm using three separate grappling hooks to bounce around the stage. The idea generally being, as soon as one option will go on cooldown, another one is coming off it, letting you spam them and utilize them a little more freely at the cost of using up an extra option slot. Now here comes the number one biggest change to options in EX from past games that you need to know. Now, when the Wild Through new features of Breaker 4, they keep advertising that you can equip two different weapons in each hand for unique combos and unique encounters. You can equip two different guns, or even two different blades if that makes you happy. And a different weapon can be equipped in each hand. This is supposed to be the big selling point about variety in the combat encounter. Now what they don't really mention, outside of giant tooltips that are hard to miss, like it physically does not let you progress through the builder without getting the screen, but people are still not seeing it. Um, your EX and option skill power are now the average of both handheld weapons for that type. The exact calculations are not known or important right now, but essentially your handheld melee weapons run the power of your melee EXs and options. Your handheld range weapons run the power of your EX and option range skills. I have done some exhaustive testing to confirm this, which is all recorded on stream. And there's a couple universal truths that stand out. Because this is now the average, it is indisputable that having one strong weapon equipped will do more damage every time for your skills than having one strong weapon and one okay weapon. If you have two weapons of identical power, identical level, that could work out. But that feels pretty rare end game and will be bringing you down in the meantime. 
Now, I'm aware this probably only really applies to earlier mid game, and having two different weapons with two different sets of passive traits is probably a huge benefit you can't ignore later on. And dual wielding is kind of really fun, and the single weapon combat doesn't really make up for it with strength yet. Maybe that can change in the final version. But for now, if you want the most bang for your buck out of your skills, that is the way to go. I hope this clears up some confusion, Break Battlers. I hope to see you at the next open network test.